The electronics are the last step to completing the assembly and setup of your Mill 1. The main part is the electronics box, which will contain all of the machine's electronics. Start by opening the bag for the Arduino Uno. This bag will contain spare pins, which are not needed to set up the Mill 1, so set them aside. Next, open the bag for the Arduino CNC shield. Once you've removed the foam from the back of the board, you should notice that both boards have a similar shape and that their pins line up. Attach the shield to the UNO via these pins. Now grab the electronics bag and unpack its contents. First, you'll want to use the header connectors to properly set up the shield. This is done by pushing them onto the left and middle sets of pins between the three sets of yellow headers. Now, you can connect the stepper motor wires. These will attach to the four pins just above the printed axis name on the board. Ensure that these are connected so that the black wire in the bundle is connected to the top pin. The stepper motor drivers will need to be prepared with a heatsink before installation. To do this, remove the paper backing on the heatsink to expose the adhesive underneath. Then firmly press the heatsink onto the center of the large black chip on the driver. The drivers can now be added to the shield. Their orientation is important, so make sure that the heatsink is closer to the top of the driver when it's plugged into the yellow headers. If you notice that the drivers aren't fully seated on the headers due to the stepper connector, you can move the connector to the side and push the drivers the rest of the way in. You should notice a small adjustment screw on the bottom of the driver chip. These determine how much current goes through each motor. Turning this clockwise will decrease the motor current, and turning it counterclockwise will increase it. In our case, we want the flattened bit to be facing left when you're looking at the driver from above. This current setting should work for your mill 1. An important note is that this screw should never be adjusted while the board is powered, so if you need to adjust your stepper motor's power later, then make sure to power off the machine before changing it. Next, grab the bag containing a red and black wire along with a DC power plug. Twist the ends of both wires so that the electrical connection is more durable after you connect them. Now prepare the CNC shield power terminal by loosening the terminal screws. You should now be able to insert the black and red wires into the terminal block and screw them into place, noting their polarity. Be 
Be sure to tightly secure the terminal screws in order to avoid a loose power connection to the board. Now it's time to fit the electronics into the enclosure. Take your time while doing this, as it is a tight fit. Once the board is in place, you can further secure the stepper motor wires by sliding, then twisting them into the slots in the enclosure. It's easier to do this in alphabetical order from top to bottom, so start with the x-axis stepper wire on the top and finish with the z-axis wire on the bottom. Unpack the machine's external power brick with a plug specific to your region. You can see how the connector on the end of the power brick joins to the DC plug to provide power to the board. Now you can feed the wires through the enclosure. And noting the polarities on the DC power plug, screw the wires into the power plug terminals. Once again, be sure to tightly secure the terminal screws in order to avoid a loose power connection to the board. The last step will be to attach the plug to the enclosure. A golden clip will be provided so that after slotting the plug into the bottom of the enclosure, the clip can be pressed into the back of the plug to secure it in place. Now you can slide the completed electronics enclosure onto the back of your mill one and attach the stepper motor wires to the corresponding stepper motors. You may also prepare the USB cable to attach to your computer. And the power brick to power your board. This shouldn't yet be plugged into the wall. Lastly, you may place your router into the router clamp. The two M8 bolts on the clamp will allow you to secure your router into place.
In order to keep the wiring out of the way of the mechanism, you can use the provided cable tie to secure the Z-axis motor wire and the router wire to the Z-axis rail bracket. Tighten and tie enough to secure the wires, but don't over tighten them. Your mill one is now physically complete. Don't yet plug in your power brick, simply connect the USB cable to your computer and continue on to the next steps. Open your favorite web browser and navigate to the Resources tab of our website. On the Resources page, under the Software heading, you should notice a link to the firmware. If you're using an Apple product, your first step will be to download the driver linked on the page. This will ensure that plugging in your Arduino doesn't cause any issues. Once you run the package in the downloaded folder, the driver will install. you will be prompted to restart your computer. Once the restart has completed, you should return to the firmware page of our website. Back on the firmware page, you'll want to click to download the Gerbol firmware with default settings for the CNC Mill 1. You'll also want to download the latest Arduino IDE onto your computer. Select your operating system to download the appropriate package. Open the Arduino IDE once it's installed. Once open, navigate to File, Open, and you should find a folder for the Gerbol download in your Downloads folder. Navigate to the Gerbol version 1.1 folder, then the Gerbol folder, And in the Examples folder, you will find a folder named GRBL Upload. Double-click on the .ino file in this folder to open it. This is the code that needs to be uploaded to the Arduino. The last step to prepare for uploading the code is to include the Gerbo library. Go to Sketch, Install, Library, Add Zip Library, then navigate back to your Downloads folder. Once again, open the Gerbo folder then the Gerbil version 1.1 folder, then double-click on the Gerbil zip file. The Arduino IDE should confirm that the library was added and you will now be able to upload the code to the Arduino. Check in the Tools tab that you've selected your board to be the Arduino Uno and that the proper port is selected. Then click Upload on the IDE to upload the code. The IDE should confirm that the code is done uploading. To confirm that the code was implemented correctly, go to Tools, then open up the Serial Monitor. Once you set your baud rate to 115,200, you should see that the monitor shows the following message. This means that the firmware has been uploaded correctly. Congratulations! Your Mill 1 should now be ready to go. In order to start using your machine, you should start becoming comfortable with a CAM software as well as find a program which will send the G code to your machine. For our software recommendations, you can navigate back to the software heading on the resources page of our website. For additional resources, be sure to check out our other hardware resources as well as request to join our user Facebook group where you can ask questions, find answers, and interact with the rest of the CNC community. Until next time.